Good afternoon, this is Stephen from James Glen Cars and today we're in a Ferrari 599 uh, GT, GTB, I always get GTO and GTB mixed up, not that I'm in the habit of uh, finding myself in either, but today we're in a 2007 3 owner car uh, which has covered 32,400 miles. I'm just on the way back from David Phillips Autos, uh, who was kind enough to help us out with uh, a coolant leak. So that's not really what you want on any car, never mind something like a Ferrari, uh, the V12 Ferrari of that. However, a new fuel pump, sorry, a new water pump to the tune of £1,500, uh, supplied and fitted. Uh, we also got another couple of wee jobs that we're needing doing, uh, one being cam cover gaskets, yeah, two of those, so obviously two cylinder heads, and uh, while we're in there we've done 12 plugs as well. Not an insignificant amount of money as you can probably imagine, uh, but we're now happy that the car's in good health. And now it's in good health, I can let you hear what it sounds like, but dying you let you hear this, this mm -hmm. is phenomenal. Got in sport with the flaps open and exhaust. Here we go. Yeah, we can't really talk when that's happening. It takes a bit of concentration. It actually takes your breath away. Uh, it's uh, for such a big engine. It spins and spins and spins. Uh, yeah, and it does this. This is basically the, the, the expression you've got from, from from the first sitting in this car. It is, uh, yeah, it is an absolute event, an absolute event. My experience with Ferraris is pretty limited, I'll be honest. Um, we have had uh, another Ferrari in stock, uh, but not quite, uh, not quite the same. It was a nineteen eighty four Ferrari. Dial, um, which has got around 240 horsepower, well, it had 240 horsepower, how many of those galloping horses are left, or were left, we're not entirely sure, but um, anyway, that's now sold and gone, uh, and this one has, well, stock, a 599, uh, comes with 612 brake horsepower, um, and it revs to 8,500 RPM. This one has uh, Novitec ECUs uh, and we think it's a Capristo exhaust system. Uh, so the power will probably be closer um, to 680 horsepower because, yeah, the 599 needs a bit more horsepower, doesn't it? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so spec wise, um, as you can see, I'm sitting in this absolutely beautiful bucket seat which is absolutely covered in carbon fibre all the way down the back, even the, even the sides of the seat. Um, we've got a carbon fibre dashboard, got a carbon fibre door cards, got a carbon fibre steering wheel, carbon fibre paddles, which by the way, I must add, are quite possibly the most beautiful paddles I've ever had the pleasure of pulling. It's got such a lovely actuation distance between you know, the, the, the travel and the paddle is just absolutely perfect. I suppose if anybody's going to get paddles right, it's got to be Ferrari, hasn't it? We're going up to another wee stretch here, which is free of traffic, I'm happy to see. And then we can get another couple of wee pulls done. Hopefully you can hear the burbling that comes with every time, with every downshift. Picture there, okay. We'll leave first, second will do. My god, my god, this is by a country mile the most exciting car I have ever driven in my life. 
absolutely, literally shaking. I have, I've driven that, I've given it a couple of goes before, um, but it just nothing prepares you for the absolute brutality of acceleration. Um, obviously, it's going to old F1 and um, single clutch gearbox, which we've uh, we kind of spoke about single clutch gearboxes in the R8 video, but they just magnify the ferocity of the of the G's because you get that pause, the next gear, then it all starts again, but. It just will stack up so close. Um, yeah. Yeah, I hope you. I think you can maybe get an idea that I'm enjoying this. Um, probably worth pointing out that cost new. This car would have been about £230,000. Nearly a quarter of a million pounds. And uh, maybe now's a good point uh, in the video to mention. We have it advertised for 84985. 84985. I mean, it's like half of what it costs new, and according to some of the kind of Ferrari experts online, um, 599s have now bellied out and are actually starting to appreciate in value. So, if you buy a Ferrari uh, for £85,000, you'll probably be through the nose for, maintain for maintenance. I can confirm it goes through fuel like an aircraft carrier, especially if you drive it like that. Um, but you shouldn't lose too much money on it. So swings and roundabouts, um, every cloud and all that as well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, um, it's surpassed. We've got a learner driver here who's just stalled in the middle of the roundabout, so we'll just wait. Um, yeah, it's certainly surpassed all expectations of what I thought this car was going to be like. You know, and it's not new. It's 13 years old. Um, and Ferrari, I mean, I, I've sat and I've sat in a couple of Ferraris and I've I've had a wee short one uh, in the summer. It was a bit squeaky, a bit rattly, and the buttons were a bit sticky. Apparently, that's the thing. Um, yeah, the, the rubber coating on the button starts to starts to break down and uh, become tacky, uh, and you need to literally send them out to get fixed. But um, everything in this car is working exactly the way it should. No tacky buttons, hardly anywhere on the driver's seat, nowhere on any, any other part of the car, even the Alcantara um, inserts on the, oh, I forgot to mention that the steering wheel's carbon fibre as well. Yeah, so the Alcantara on the Al on the carbon fibre steering wheel uh, is, is absolutely perfect. And running along the top, well, before mentioned, carbon fibre steering wheel, the shift lights. I think I've had them on twice, so I'm obviously not moving it high enough. So uh, yeah, forgive me for um, being a bit of a shit bag in it. Uh, I like a fast car, but this is just otherworldly. It really, really is. Even just driving the car normally feels like an absolute event. Anyway, I don't think I, 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 don't, I think I should stop using the word event. I think of well and truly wore that one out. Um, so anyway, that's been a wee eight minute video uh, of our 599, which is now back in stock after being at David Phillips Autos in Edinburgh. Um, so thanks very much for I'm back. I need to buy a better camera mount. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that and uh, I'll see you in the next one.